Welcome to Table Talk. We are happy to have you here with us this morning. Today we have with us myself, Sandy, Shannon, and Shauna. It's the S show. <laughs> That's, that didn't sound, you know, that, you know. Yeah, no, that didn't. Yeah. We could anyway, use Shelly today, too. We could use Shelly, but yeah. yeah. It's the S show. The S's. Yes. So we are happy to have you here. We've just got, I don't know if we have very many finishes, but... You have a finish. I do. I finished a couple of things. Okay. Let's so see I, what you've done. Oh, the clip. I took our, so some of our. That's cute. So I try to make one for each of our girls that have babies at church. And I just use the same pattern. It's the white cloud. Oh, yeah. White cloud's a good Oh, oh it's oh, upside down. down. Oh, because oh, the little critters are going to be. But we had standing. three boys in a week. In oh, our really? work. Yeah, oh. we had three boys in a week. So I finished a girl one, and I should have been working on boys. <laughs> but I. Finished a White this. Cloud is a great one. And I love this. This is a mix of different collections, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. So cute. Cute. Just finished it up and we we haven't had a girl for a while. Yeah. We had three boys and so I finished a girl one. Should have been doing <laughs> And this is um a fat quarter quilt, right? Yeah, it yeah. is. And so it's just seven fat quarters and then uh, And then your contrast. And then your contrast and cute. Yeah. So good job. And then we've just used oh, the cute backing. backing. That's yeah. the cute backing. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Good so job. that was my that was my finish for the week. Awesome. Let's get that out of the way. And then I will have some finishes from Pat. I can show. And then I, I've been working on pumpkins because I've been doing the neighbor thing. But they're oh, they're so cute. And it is so easy. It is just a single crochet and a bobble stitch. And it is a single and a bobble and a single and a bobble. And it is so, so, That's so, cute. so easy. So I'll write the pattern and we can just put it out as a free pattern for people awesome. if you want. Oh. And then you can make them bigger or, so it, it looks like this. So this is what this is. And it, it's 21 stitches and then I make it 11. And then you just attach it and then just gather. Yeah. Just so cute. It's really cute. So I'll I'll um I'll write, write the, up a little. I'll write the thing and put it at the counter, and anyone can do it. I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it because it's just so easy. Fun. So, and if you don't know what a bobble stitch, YouTube is your friend. Yes, and I, I and well, and it's so 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 yeah. easy. It's so easy. So so so. Yeah, she brought that in this morning. I'm like, I have to have Kate Kaylee make me some of those. Oh yeah. So I have a question. If we use. Um, those chunky thread what do you call them oh the chunky, chunky threads, threads. It, they would be probably it. smaller but like yeah yeah it, okay it, it still works i guess you use uh -huh. the chunky okay thread. yep you could do the chunky thread but then i would do more yeah would do, you would need because it's a thinner thread yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay and, and so there is no right or wrong to it just as long as you end on a single crochet mm -hmm. True. that's all you need to do start with a single crochet and end with a single crochet and then it's easy Okay, well, so that's, that's it. Thank you. Good job. Yep. What you got finish-wise? I know. Well, I was thinking about that, and I thought, <laughs> I did stuff for, to try to get ready for Christmas in July. Oh, okay. And so that was kind of my big thing. But um, my daughter, Erica, she decided she was going to deem July, Christmas in July at our house. So we have to work on Christmas projects in the month of July. Oh, so I so I'm doing a few things uh -huh. that I don't normally do, awesome. but actually this one is a project I'm doing for the store, oh, and it's yeah. a thread that threads that bind pattern. It's called Christmas Eve. It's a punch needle project. Oh. So um, it called for gentle art floss, and it is so difficult to get gentle art floss in. So I substituted. I've kind of been playing with it. Took a bunch of threads home. And um, I actually have a really good start. So those of you who have, do, haven't done punch needle, the front, front's going to look kind of funny because it's not complete. But you work from the back. And Erica, while I was, I was working on this yesterday, I just had, because you, you always punch the small items first. So I punched the eyes in and then I punched the little face. And she's like, that just is creepy, Mom. You've got to put some stuff around that because it just looks weird. Just <laughs> in there. So, there's my back. Oh, so awesome. So yeah, you work from the back and then that's what the front looks like. So anyway, you've got a good start. On I that. do. I have a really good start on it. I've got a lot going on and um, awesome. Yeah. So I mean, it does kind of yeah, look funny, but it's nice because like this 
the reindeer harness is just one single line. So I might punch a little bit more in there just to make sure it shows up. And then mm -hmm. you can just move those threads around so that they're positioned the yeah. way you want them to be. Yeah. So that's that's nice. So that's that was my first Christmas in July project okay. I've been working on. I like both sides though. Yeah. 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 And you don't, they don't have to be super close together. Your punches aren't super close yeah. together. I am kind of an over puncher. <laughs> I try not to. So um, this other project, I've kind of started this. I start and stop, start and stop, and I really need to get going. Um, this is a Christmas stocking pattern, a Shepherd's Bush Christmas stocking pattern. And see, I've had it in a hoop, so it's kind of not great. This one is the Parker stocking. Oh, I love that oh, one. Cute. Yeah, so I I would like to make one for everybody, but I don't know. I just There's not enough hours in the day to get it all done. Amen. And then the one that I would really like to work on, because I just want to make this for my sewing room. You know, I've, I've done a bunch of these little house needleworks stores. You know, we've got the long one like yeah. we have here in the shop, and um, Erica's working on another long one with more shops because they've come out. They've come out with a bunch. They have so many, yeah. so many. But I just thought I just want this little quilt shop done, up. Yeah. and I probably will do the needleworks one too, uh -huh. and just hang them in my sewing yeah. room. We see around just the quilt shop here. Yeah, yeah. And I think we have. Do we still have the there's the needleworks in stock? The needlework. Yeah, they should all. We should have all of them. Yeah, they should all be in stock because I just restocked. So yeah, so I have some on my floss, and I thought oh, I just need to get a little piece yeah. of fabric for that. So, so that's what I've been doing for Christmas, Christmas in July, and July at that's my fun. house. Good yeah. girl. I and guess I've been doing Christmas in July too. You have too. <laughs> and it's kind of funny yeah. because Erica's like, you know, this will be really fun, and so she wants us to to do stuff together. Uh huh. So she puts on, she lights a Christmas candle. She puts Aww. on the TV, like they have those Hallmark. YouTube. No, she puts those oh. YouTube things on where it's just like a Christmas scene and it plays the Christmas okay. music. Yeah. And my husband will come upstairs and say, what are you guys doing? <laughs> just mind your own business. Go back <laughs> to work. <laughs> just go away. So We're enjoying Christmas. Yeah, in July. we're having a good time. So anyway, awesome. but yeah, it's kind of a fun. Yeah. And I do have some Christmas quilts, but Erica doesn't have anywhere to sit in my sewing room still. So she says I can't work on those quite yet. Oh, so. okay. Well, we need to get Erica a place to sit. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Awesome. Good girl. Yeah. You do have, I did have a yes, finish I forgot about. So this I is took, cute. I may have shown this before. You did show it, but you didn't show it. I hadn't found it yet. Yeah. And it wasn't, it didn't have the hole in it. So mm -hmm. what I did was I just started out by cutting the hole in the center and then just cut up one of the seams so that it's a little tree skirt. That's How adorable. Cute. For one of my small trees, so. And you have it around a small tree here I in just, the store. I have it around a small tree. It's so really cute. That was kind of a fun finish. Um, my mom has a finish for us that she did, which is this table runner and it's on both ends. And that is a wool applique. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. So yeah. cute. So cute. So thank you, mom, for getting that one done. Uh, we just got back from the framer. Those are so cute. These, now this mm -hmm. one is the Christmas in a tiny town and spring in a tiny, I don't know if it's called spring in a tiny town or. It is so cute. But they're so spring cute. Spring blooms or something. Yeah, spring remember. blooms, mm -hmm. I think it might be. Oh. So I know we've shown before the Americana one, mm -hmm. but now we have one for Christmas, and one for spring and. They're the same. I same designer. Same yeah, design. and they finished about the same size. Um, oh, so I don't think she did an autumn in a store. I was say, I don't remember seeing an autumn one. They, I bet there will be one this yeah. year. Autumn or Halloween, because yeah. they are very popular. So those have been fun. Those are good finishes. These were framed by Craft Center. So they do a good job. Yep, they do a good job. Um, I have, oh, I'm gonna lift up your chair there for oh, a sec. Sorry. There we go. Nope, you're good. It's not finished, but I'll show you the progress I've made on this. my advent. Um, now I've got to do the little, I've got to hand quilt it and then do the bags. But it, it's all done needle turn. However, when I got to doing your hair, I ended up doing wool. Oh, I just thought <laughs> I was done with needle turn after those stars. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at my stars. My stars look like starfish. They star kind of have fish. a leg going off, you know. <laughs> Anyway. But that's kind of cute. That's kind of the way that she does stuff, yeah. though. I feel like Annie Downs. It's, it's kind so of that cute. rustic, just fun. Yeah. fun so work, I so. just had to let it go. Just say they are what they are. 
there they are we're gonna be done so that one i've got to finish up my little bag that's really that. cute so and we have those all kitted yes it we do. took me a very long time to kit yep. those because there's are a ton kitted. of little pieces yep there are everything had to be labeled so and yeah everything had to be labeled and that's the one them. thing that's nice is with kits like this we do put a label yeah. on all the pieces so you know them. what it is yeah. We try really which hard green so is for the tree which green right. is for the you know yeah, yeah. so we we so label them really well yeah. so that takes a little bit of the guesswork out of it so yeah, yeah shannon and i have been having hot flashes, hot flashes this morning. Is <laughs> reading and, I've got and shana's got her sweater over here oh, her little hands are just fantastic yeah, i know it is what it is right yes. okay i'll show that piece that i did oh yes oh, emerald so has a finish do oh, you want to come so back so here good. Yeah, I, I think you can show for me. Oh, but you can come back here. You kind of your oh, cute yeah. little face needs to come back here. Yeah. Come so back. we'll have the tutorial of this. Um, I just see a lot of people ha selling these kind of things on Etsy. Mm -hmm. They're printed. And then I'm like, I want to spend the money. So I just took our scraps and then make oh them. God, it's really cute. Isn't it cool? So, cute. so we'll I love probably it. put a tutorial out yeah. if we'll... you guys want it. Let us know. So follow our YouTube channel. Yeah. Because that's where it will be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go on and follow our YouTube channel and subscribe. and Yeah. And then it, it works with all kinds of scraps that yeah. you have. So whatever you yeah. have, don't worry about it. Yeah. So cute. It's really cute. I love it. And I like where you decided on the moon. <laughs> she wasn't sure. Yeah. Was oh, yeah. oh yeah. I was like thinking if it should be on the oh, left or in the or center. The center. Or, yeah. Oh, I yeah. like it. It's, cute. Cute. it's so cute. Very yeah. cute. Good the job. Cute thing is, and then you can put the colors in that you want to match your room. Yeah. 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 And then it can be like if you live in Utah, it can be all kind of brown, red, you know, dirt. If you're down in southern Utah, you can have the red rocks. Mm -hmm. the, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I was saying you could put an art gym. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah. yeah, so cute. Thank you. I love it. Okay. I love it. Love it. Girl. Okay. Mm. What do we have to talk about today? We're talking about wall applique, right? Yes. Wall because applique. We have, you, you all do wall applique. Yes. <laughs> or do you just have many? No, I do. I, I do. Okay. I have actually brought a project that I'm working on that I have not shared yet because mm. I'm being really, really slow. Being slow. <laughs> It's kind of my pickup. Yeah. Is it something about Christmas? Though? It is not. It's it is. actually Americana. Okay. okay. And cool. you might remember it when I pull it out because you helped me pick out all the fabrics. Oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. Don't remember. Uh, let's just touch on the basics. Okay. Because I don't know if we, our customer, are like, will applicate people yeah. or like, how do There's they There's probably start? a lot that aren't, haven't done a lot of that. Yeah. Um, so... My mother-in-law, you know, she was a needle turned appliqueer mm -hmm. and as she's gotten older, she's 95. She's still, still stitching does along. beautiful work. And I did bring one, an apple, a wool applique quilt that she did for Erica. Um, but the wool applique was easier for her because you just needle cut turns, it out yeah. and you know, you, you can sew it on. With the needle turn, it takes a little bit more and her fingers yeah. don't work quite as well. So it oh. was a nice transition mm -hmm. for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think my mom really likes the wool applique. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I love it because needle turn is more, not tedious, but you know, it's more exact. It's more, it takes mm -hmm. more finesse to get it to look good. Mm -hmm. As opposed to having your stars look like starfish, but um, I can do a good round shape. Those star points were tricky, but I need to have BJ help me with some needle turn tips. But wool applique, what I love about it is, I think it's super easy. Right, it is. I agree. It's super easy by okay. far. So last night, and I started about seven, and I went to bed at ten, and I had. I prepped all of these and again Sandy's really fast so don't <laughs> feel bad if you can't do it this quickly <laughs> and I've got I stitched all around all of these parts and I stitched I have to still do the tree here and I did this one um, and I finished it this morning put the it's cute. Tape together I wasn't sure how easy that was gonna be but it was really easy um, is this the pattern that you use? This used? is the pattern. So I'm doing Christmas berry baubles. This is again by Hatched and Patched. 
You might think I kind of like hash and pets. Ah, uh, yeah. We do like hash <laughs> I really and do. Yeah. And we do have the Addie Downs Christmas line. Yes, we have her yeah. Christmas oh, line. Love cute. her. And it's we have cute. sign ups for the Scent of the Tree, the Turkey and Me. Yep. Yes. Um, quilt Block of the Month. That's going really well. Yeah. Because I yeah. see all those orders come in. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I just think it's a super simple form of applique. And so for me, it's relaxing because. It isn't so much stress. I stress when I needle turn. I, you know, I just am mm -hmm. stressed about how it's looking. But, um, so I thought we'd just share kind of some ideas for how you applique it on. Yeah. Or and like, what are the tools you guys yeah. start with? Cause like, mm -hmm. it looks like you only need needles and the thread and wool. Yep. Some glue. I don't know. Some fusible. Some fusible. Um, Fusible, what like heat and bond or wonder under or um what's the other one i like so much soft fuse you know so you don't have to have an adhesive on the back of it like so here's this you can see it's oh. kind of shiny because i had drawn the shape onto my heat and bond ironed it onto the back and then cut out um peeled off the back and it's ready now to iron in place you could just cut out your wool shape and not have any of this, but I really like just that it keeps it, all the fibers together. It keeps oh. keeps it in place when I'm stitching. Um, so and I'm I like, not a heat and bond yeah. person. I don't. I, it's too for me. It's too hard to get through. Oh, see, and if I use the heat and bond light, I, which is it, what I, I use, still just not my favorite. But so I yeah. mean, there's a lot of ways you can do yeah. it. So you could just. Um, as you'll show, tell them how you do your, what you do with your glue. So I take this, if, if I have some that's coming up a little bit mm -hmm. as I'm doing it, I just run it under just a little bit with this. They're the water soluble glue pens. Yeah, it's the Soline. Sue Daly has Sue one, Soline has one, you know. I got this here. Yep. And I, you just run it under and you just push it down. And then it sticks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then oh, it sticks and it's nice. great. Yeah. I love this when I'm doing it, especially if I have something that I'm having a hard time keeping down to yeah. stitch over or it's it's coming up. So do you put yeah. the wonder under or whatever on it first mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. iron it down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, so when you're ironing your wool applique pieces down, they will they come up. lift. Yeah. I mean, they're, and for one thing too, it takes a lot of heat. It does. Mm. So you've got to leave your iron on there it takes a lot of heat to fuse that on. So these are on, but if it's a big project like this, I had ironed them all in place, but as traveling and working with it, they They're start to cool. lift off and pop off. And so it's nice to have that little glue that you can just pack it back down. But um, this one, I should be able to get it stitched on without losing those bits, but. Um, so when you say like it takes a lot of heat, does it mean high temperature? Yeah, like... I put it on the wool setting, which mm -hmm. is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just, you've got to let it sit long enough. And I'll put it on the front, iron from the front. Mm -hmm. And then once they've ironed on, I'll turn it over and iron to the on the back. Because then that's getting... And let it sit for a minute. Let it sit for a minute. Yeah, to really get the heat through there so that they are ironed on well. Then there's a couple different things you can do. Well, there's lots of different things you can do. But... I use just a simple whip stitch to applique mine down most of the time. If it's a bigger area, I might use a blanket stitch. Um, so you've got a blanket stitch. I've got a blanket stitch. You can see she's doing around the edge. And Same I would here. definitely, around the edge, do my blanket stitch. And you, you've put yours down with a blanket stitch. And these... Show them this one. Or these Yeah. Ones. So hers are applique down with a blanket stitch around the shapes and mine so I'm going to be doing so this one I don't know if you can see but it's just a simple little whip Ooh. stitch yes you can, can you see that a little bit yes so I'm going to just show you how simple that is so here's my piece and I'll come up just outside on the other side of the wool and I just take a little stitch in trying to do it away from myself and it's just mm -hmm. these little tiny and I use one strand of DMC 
Um, you can use pearl cotton. I've used pearl cotton. I think my mom's is done with pearl cotton there. But I am just taking those little whip stitches all along. So and that's all, and that just tacks it down. And it just holds it down and it is really durable. Like they stay yeah, and not stitched all my, down. Not all of mine are, so this is Oh yeah, whip you've stitch done here. a whip stitch there. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you've done blanket stitch here. Mm -hmm. And where these are bigger shapes, but where these are really tiny, like this little star. If I tried to do a blanket stitch around that star, it would be it a mess. Would, it would be a mess. Mm -hmm. It would just look yeah. mm -hmm. like a thread Very mess. Mm -hmm. Just like on this. I yeah. Got, didn't, and didn't. so you just do a simple. Mm -hmm. And that's all there is to it. So once you've yeah, it's glued simple. them down, you know, or adhered them there, you're just. So it's really a simple thing to do. Um, and wool is very, very durable. Yeah. Do you need to use any special needles? Are they like I use, size? this is a si uh, just a sharp embroidery needle. Mm -hmm. If you can use chenille needles. Um, Bowen's tapestry needles are sharp. Not most My tapestry needles for us are, are blunt and for cross mm -hmm. stitch, but the French needles tapestry is a sharp needle. Mm -hmm. So you need to know if you're buying the French needles that say tapestry, they're a sharp like an embroidery, but they have a bigger eye. So those are nice oh, for, um, like for the amazing. pearl. Yeah. Pearl cotton, cotton yeah. like yeah. this. Yeah. And mm -hmm. this is, this is pearl cotton. Yeah. yeah. You, and you'd use a, you know, the thinner pearl cotton. You're not using a size five or a, usually a size 12 mm -hmm. is what you would use. Yep. So the one that I'm doing, um, I actually have just been using some Baldoni uh -huh. thread. Yeah. And I've just been stitching all my little stars. Ooh. Oh, cute. And so on the cotton. stars are on cotton. Love it. And so mine, I, mine's all That's blanket right stitched. Yeah. So I've got all kinds of different, I've got different uh, colored blues. That one's done. I think these reds. Yeah. These reds are done. And, and so you, yeah, you can stitch it onto wool or you can stitch it onto cotton. Right, right. Fun. So yeah, so I've just used my little Baldonis. Oh, this one's kind of, that one's coming apart. And then I just kind of tried to Single match. Single strand of that. Yep. Yeah. I've just tried to kind of match so that, yep. so I I have a, a lot of stars to do. Yes, you do. <laughs> a lot. So. And there's, some people will stitch everything in black. I've seen people do right. a lot of that. Right. Where everything is stitched down with black. One color. Yeah. Um, I usually stitch trying to match my floss. And it, for yeah, for thread. me, it kind of depends mm -hmm. on the project. Sometimes yeah. you want the stitches to show, so yeah. yeah. But I cannot find this, and I've got a ton of fabric. This is a really cool quilt. I cannot find my book. Uh oh. I had to take stuff out. We got new bedroom furniture. I had to move everything out of my bedroom furniture, and then I moved it into my sewing room, and I don't remember where things are. I had to buy a new punch needle because I could oh, not no. find my punch needle. And oh, I have no. like six of them. So I bought a punch needle. <laughs> Cannot find this book. So this this pattern is actually out. Of, the book is called French Farmhouse Quilts with Rustic Simplicity, yeah. and I love it. So yeah. I'm going to see if Kathy can get me another book. And if you're going to find that book, I was going to say, but I've got. I want to. I need to kind of do some stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to buy one, and if I find the other one, I might come on to Table Talk and give it away as a little prize. Oh. So stay tuned. Anyway, but I, it's a really really cool quilt. Yeah. It is. I now. I when you pulled those out, then I remember. You're like, that. oh yeah, because yeah. yeah. I think you you really like the pattern, so you yeah. were just pulling fabric like crazy for yeah. me. It was very nice. Um, can you walk us through like if you if people want to replace these wool because they're not they're not cheap, right? Wool is not cheap. It yeah. Is not cheap. If they it want to not. replace it with wool felt or uh -huh. like, and they could do is that. There's something that they should know. Wool is more durable than wool felt. It will wear better, last longer, but it is much more expensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you this. So this is, these are all stitched on wool felt. Okay. 
and with wolf felt. I mean, they and they are so stinking cute, aren't They're they? They're really cute. Yes. So, so cute. So this is Bare Roots Everything Nice Ornaments. And we have the kits for these, which are the pattern and all of the wool felt. To now, make all the ornaments. To make all the ornaments that are shown. Yeah. Um, so this is $22.95. If this was wool, it would probably be a $75 oh, yeah. Yeah. kit. Easy. Yeah, easily. So you can see the difference in price. But, but also but remember, the pieces are small. Yeah. The pieces are small that I like on what I'm doing. And so if you were doing it on cotton, then it wouldn't be very expensive because right. your biggest, these little, these are little tiny bits. Right. Um, but when you're doing something that has a background of wool, mm -hmm. that's big pieces mm -hmm. or, you know, there's lots of parts to this. Um, so that's the wool felt, but they are adorable. They're they really so cute. cute. Really cute. You can do a pattern that's done in wool. You can do it in wool felt. Right. Um, and it will look adorable. It will be so cute. Mm -hmm. um, do you have more color options when it comes to wool felt compared to wool? Or it's just... In the store right now, yes. We have more bolts of wool felt. Than, the thing but, with the wool felt, that like these are all solids. Yeah. When you buy wool, you can get textures and different mm, patterns yeah. and and hand dyed where it right. changes. You know, you know, my, my mother in law sent um, my daughter Nicole because my my daughter Nicole is the one that does m wool most at our house. And they, she was in St. George, they had a quilt show mm -hmm. and they had a vendor there that had hand dyed wool. And she sent oh. her some pieces that are amazing. So beautiful. Yeah, yeah. just amazing. I, yeah, I, you can get in trouble in the hand dyed wool. <laughs> yeah, yes you really can. Really easy, yeah. But, but yeah, so I mean, it's just, if you're a beginner and you're starting out and, and you've got a budget and you don't, you can't afford the wool. Right. Go, or if you something. want to just try it, you want to try it, go with a wool felt project. These would be easily done right. in wool felt. Yes. Right. Um, these are supposed to have a little hanger and be an ornament, but I'm doing them just as a little bowl. I'm just going to do them and put them in a little bowl mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to sit. I did want to give you a little tip. So this, so this one has all these little red berries around. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I... If I'm doing those tiny little circles, what I like to do is just, I'll still iron the fusible web to the to my wool, but then I'll take a hole punch. Oh, so you don't have to cut it. And you can just, where'd it go now? Oh, nope, it's still stuck. And you can just punch them out. And then you peel off your back and it's ready to it's stick down. Just so, just exact that yeah. way. <laughs> and so you just, Punch it. But look how cute this color, look how cute this coloring is. And the yeah, that, and that's where you wall. see how it's not just a solid red. It's right. And so these berries will be, you know, vary a little bit. Yeah. Which gives it just kind of a little. Where this is a it. solid, but these berries mm -hmm. are. Yeah. It's a varying berry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the brown on the little figgy pudding, you can see that's one of the hand dyed wools that is mm -hmm. kind of modeled. And um, I love it because you, you take the stitches, you know, mm -hmm. and you get to do extra stitches on top and yeah. it just makes it so adorable. And that's the thing is we have like an embroidery book here that you can take oh, and yeah, you can do. So that's what this quilt is of my mother-in-law. Yes. She's done all this embroidery stitches on it. Let's oh, take good. Let's cake. look at that. So this, this pattern is called Woodland Whimsy. Oh, my oh yeah, it's by Under a, the Garden Moon. Yeah, this is a beautiful. Oh, and yes. so my daughter oh, Erica is really good at saying, Grandma, I really need this quilt. And she does so, it. Yeah. <laughs> so this does have cotton on the background. Uh -huh. Oh, look at oh. that. But it has a lot of embroidery stitches. stitches. And look so she she couldn't, she, she told me, she says, I have a really difficult time with all the beading. Yeah. And so I brought the box home and I did the beading, but she she kind of, she did a lot of extra stitches that yeah. a lot of the beady, beads I didn't even put on because yeah. there's just, she's done so, and so she did a lot of extra mm -hmm. than what the, the pattern called for. But see, like all of this is stitching. Yeah, stitching. Yeah. See, that's beautiful. You know, she did mm -hmm. all these stitching on these flowers, and so so you can combine some yep. really cool embroidery with your wool. With your wool. 
Yeah. Yep. See, it just adds so much to these flowers down here to add the little, little beads French and the stitching. And the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Herb, all those are beads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some people hate French knots and they'll use beads instead. Yeah. 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 Because they can get that consistent, you know? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So she does a really good job. And, and she's yeah. got, and this is all wool. You know, she's got like the, mm -hmm. oh, and the hand dye. Yeah. This is what I wanted to show is like, this is not, she's probably stitched or whip stitched this whip down stitch and, and, and then, then done, done a decorative, decorative stitch, stitch around. around it. Yeah. You know, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, okay. you can kind of make things your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun to just take it and, mm -hmm. and embellish with it. Right. For instance, like on that little tree, I didn't do a lot, uh, it's but right here. the pattern didn't call for the little stitching. Right. It just had had you to do French knots here and there on the tree. Oh, yeah. I know. I like and the I little garland. The little garland kind of. Yeah. See but. the difference in the pattern. And so, and oh, and another thing. So in Australia, which is where Annie Downs is from, um, it's summer at Christmas. Yeah. And so their grass is green. Oh, yeah. But it's not summer in Utah at Christmas. So no. I, you know, did the white for the background. And you know, I don't, you don't have to go with exactly what you right. do. Make it your own. But you can see the little in the pattern, those little um, tiny d red circles would be kind of a pain to try and cut out. Yes. Yeah, that's a They're good tip. It's just kind of a pain, mm -hmm. but oh, just yeah. punching them out with a, um, a hole yeah. punch. That's perfect. That's awesome. And with the um, paper on it, I think it helps with the punching. Yeah, right. So. So I guess that also says you probably need a pointy, sharp scissors. You want ready. sharp scissors. If you can use that, um, I use, these are my little, what are they, Ulfa scissors. Um, but the best scissors are these. Yeah, yeah I love this. So one. these are Kay Buckley and they have a little bit of a serration yeah, to them. That's what my daughter and Nicole uses. And oh, this for is, cutting wool. Oh. And then it's just light. It's so, these are so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I brag on the other ones, but for wool, these are my go-to. Those, yeah. are, those are really perfect. Nice. Those wool. are my go-to. So yeah, Kay Buckley's um, Perfect Scissors is they're called. Um, and they Sandy, are can you show them your little jar? Oh, that's right. So wool is expensive. Again, you're using just little, and so most things like my cotton fabrics and stuff, I do not save all my little I don't either. <laughs> That's just, yeah. But wool, I save my bits. Mm -hmm. And so I usually have just thrown them in with my bucket of my wool. But I thought last night when I had these little tiny pieces. So for instance, okay, so I was, I drew the, traced my wreath garland thing. But before I ironed it on, I cut out the center <laughs> of my wool because I thought I can use that. I can use that for something and so I don't <laughs> yeah. want the paper on the back of that yet because and so you just store your little tiny bits and I thought if I just store them in a jar and I'm gonna have to separate them out by color and but it's easy to go to to get that little bit because like look at the size of this tree on here and the size of the windows and the stars and you know I just need a little tiny bit of right. red so why cut into my bigger pieces right use some of your and bits we have, up. A, we have wool in a dresser upstairs and we do save all the little pieces. We save the little bits mm -hmm. because sometimes when we're kidding, we need a one inch square of black. Yeah. And so, yeah, we save it all. So save your bits, save your wool bits because they are valuable and they are used mm -hmm. in your projects. And then these are the kind of scraps you will definitely use because yeah, it right. doesn't really I ever. use my wool scraps, yeah. so. Where my cotton scraps, yeah, they just accumulate and, and make then messes. The last question I will have is, I heard people saying that wool applique is more forgiving because it's not like I a, think it is. I, I do. think so too. Yeah. I do. Oh, and I showed these last year on Table Talk, but I do have one that I can show that shows the difference between. So this one is all wool. This one is done with wool felt. So you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the difference, but um, this a one, project can be done right in either one. And this one's a little more yellow because that's because what that's color how the wool comes. white comes. Yeah, yeah, white wool isn't necessarily it's more creamy. white. It's a little more creamy a lot of times, so. So cute. 
And I think that natural color gives you a soft and yeah. tone. Mm -hmm. And and they are soft and um I just I just love it. They're really cute. But you'd never have this in your you'd never have you this. You wouldn't in your... have the these textures in your wool felt. Right. You can get kind of the heathered look, I call it, but you won't have the hand dyed look like on my little goat here mm -hmm. or the herringbone or, you know a little herringbone pattern on my camels and um and i did add you know beads here and there um on my project but <sighs> but it was these were so fun to do i just loved these stockings mm -hmm. and so but this year i got them back from kaylee because she wants me to embroider their names Oh, that's on them. Yeah. So I'm gonna do. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna do in just a cream color, so that it doesn't detract know, detract from it. But I'm gonna do in a cursive their names. Mm -hmm. So cute, kind of fun. So you can go do all out crazy, want. or you can go super simple. Mm -hmm. But wool applique is fun, and there are tons of patterns. One thing I did want to tell you is about hatched and patched. I love her patterns in that. She has great instructions. She does have great instructions. And one thing I love about her applique patterns versus some others is that she doesn't just give you the drawing here, okay? Which is what you get with a lot of applique patterns. Then she also gives you the individual shapes uh -huh. where mm. some designers, oh. you just have to go and right. figure out. I like that she does that. Mm -hmm. So I just think, I love her patterns. I think they're well written. She doesn't tell you to buy a lot more wool than you need. I mean, mm -hmm. she tells you you need a one inch square of this, or right. what, you know. Um, when I've cut for her kits, they some of the pieces are very small. They're very small, but it helps keep that. Like on the um, sand of the tree, the turkey and me. Mm -hmm. If we did, if we didn't stick to her measurements, that would be outrageously expensive. Right. It right. does help. I, it's still not an inexpensive quilt. And there because, are cottons in that. And there, well, there's not linen. linens. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, there's linens. just, it's stitched on linen. So even that fabric is a little more pricey, right. but it's again more durable. Right. Yeah. Then it has, has a good weight. Wool. Has a good weight for stitching your wool on. Um, but yeah. So. Yeah. We learn a lot about wool at the cake <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah. We like so, it. Yeah. So. If you have any other questions let us know we'd love to answer them and, and share with us your wool projects yeah. yeah so you've done pin cushion these that. are weighted which i love yeah. yeah this one is i put a little bit of weight in it but not much but they're just gonna sit in a little in bowl. bowl yeah yeah i, I so. did because i like to throw them at people when yeah get yeah. <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> go away good idea good Leave idea me alone can beat that game and again. you were saying you've done Three, three of these. these. Yeah, I have. Yeah, so I have two daughters. So if you do one, you have to do three. Three. <laughs> yeah. So this is my third. Literally. But you're going to end up trimming this yeah. oval outside after you've done your applique. Yep. Uh, and so she's going to trim this away, and this is a lot of black wool that mm -hmm. she'll yep. end up with corner pieces, yeah. and those go in a jar because you're going to use them. Share with us some of your wool projects. If you've done more wool projects, post a picture. We'd love to see it. Tag us, share with us. Um, let us see what you're working on. Let us know. I would love to know um, like what designers you like because yeah. sometimes I, you know, it's nice to see other things mm -hmm. and yeah. Other yeah. Than inspiration. So that's true. We'd love to know what wool designers do you love and do you stitch with wool or wool felt? Mm -hmm. So I think you can do either. So have fun with it and join us next week for tabletop. Mm -hmm.